Hey everyone, it's Peter D with uh, Bear Bull Traders. Just wanted to share a pair of trades I had today on Hasbro and Halliburton. So, let's start with Hasbro. Um, Hasbro, uh, I actually started off with a loss. It was my first trade of the day, and uh, I ended up, as you can see, I went long, uh, thinking that I had an opening range breakdown and was going to move up, but I went too early. This was only the second minute of the day, and um, at that time, it obviously wasn't ready to, to move up at that point. So this is actually, I took fairly heavy shares, so I took a fairly big loss of a couple hundred shares. And then uh, as it came back up and crossed the, the, the VWAP, I, um, I took it long again. And uh, this actually is uh, sort of a departure for me because normally I get nervous after losing on a first trade and I actually was able to take a second trade, uh, which was great. So it turned out to be a very positive trade. And as you can see, uh, I took it here. Um, and then uh, I sold at basically all of the moving averages. So I sold some there, I sold some here. Uh, this was the 105 break. I actually didn't think it was going to go any higher than 105, but uh, it did, and I kept the last little bit uh, that uh, I sold. Uh, basically, I'd, I'd set a stop, and then I, I got uh, taken out here when I had the, this spike down, which is unfortunate because it went up another $2 after that. Um, on Halliburton, uh, a slightly different story. This one was profitable right from the beginning. So uh, you can see I went uh, I went short at uh, this point. Um, I then uh, started to scale out uh, at what were predetermined stops. On this chart, uh, it didn't carry over, but I had set levels basically to sell there. What was interesting here for me was that um, I actually looked at it and I decided I, I was adding uh, as it was... Um, uh, as I thought it was going to pull back. So here I thought it was going to turn. And you can see sort of at the bottom of this uh, arrow, I thought it was going to uh, turn around. It didn't, and I got stopped out. So once I got stopped out, uh, again, this is another departure for me, which is a big day, when I looked at it and said, okay, forget about what you made on the first trade. Um, would you enter it independently at this point? And I decided it was a good second trade, so I went short here again, uh, and then I rode this short down um, for another another great trade, uh, whereas you can see, um, so I rode this one down until probably, what was it, 11.30 or so. Uh, yeah, about here. Now, again, what I did, though, is uh, I actually added to my short. So, as you can see, so this is the second short here. Um, I scaled out some here. On this pullback, uh, it it hit the, well, didn't actually cross the moving average, so I shorted some again, and then decided, well, I was going to take a little profit because it started to stall at this point. I took a little more profit. It came back up. This time, it hit the 20 uh, moving average and I shorted some as it turns out probably that wasn't wasn't the best short doing it again however because I, then, I, then I got myself stopped out uh, but all in all it was a very profitable trade and uh, these two were actually the bulk of my day all right guys thanks a lot we'll see you in the room tomorrow